And as you can hear right now, they're cheering Eric, Eric, Eric. So he should be taking the stage pretty soon. As you can see, Catherine Hannaway right up front, right there behind me. Jamie, the goal is to get visitation back to what it used to yeah. be, which was about 3.3 million a year. So because an average St. Louisans come to the arch once every six years. So in case TV news broadcast doesn't work out for me, that's a backup plan. <laughs> no, I, know. I thought it was awesome. Because Keen we got that. a call in the middle of our flight that there was a man apparently who was hit by a Metro Link train, so he makes a hard left and he makes a hard right, and that's when my stomach was like, ugh. So another thing I noticed, I didn't see the mayor downtown, didn't see him anywhere, not yeah. saying that he, he may not be concerned about it, but I don't see there's much coming from the mayor's yeah. office with this issue. And so Senator Claire McCaskill was there too, huh? Yeah, but Jamie, she was quick in and out. She introduced the HUD secretary and then left right away. Now, I wanted to ask her about her comments regarding allegations of Russia hacking into the elections and how she has said that Putin impacted Trump's election. So I know we're trying to get her back on the show. I'm sure this is something you'd want to talk to her about. Elizabeth also added that if Blake was here and he saw all of this, that he would be five shades of red, all because she says he was such a humble guy. This is Aries. He's about 85 pounds and I'm wearing about 20 pounds worth of suit here, correct? All right, let's do this. All right, you ready? Ready. When is it okay for police to use force? What are officers trained to do? We had a caller yesterday saying, why can't a police officer resort to a taser? Why does it have to take out the gun and shoot a point shoot and kill the person? Sirens blaring, paramedics rushing. St. Louis Fire and EMS say they've been bombarded with over 100 calls this whole week, attending to the homeless who are reacting to a synthetic cannabinoid. And it is knocking people down hard. Fire officials say not only are the calls exhausting the crews, it's also costing taxpayers a ton of money. Is it as bad as heroin? Right now it is because it's, it's taxing our services. Six to seven hundred dollars a call. That'd be about a sixty thousand dollar bill. Most of the incidents are happening in the vicinity of New Life Evangelistic Center on 14th and Locust, a homeless shelter that has been at odds with the city for years. Acting Deputy City Councilor Matt Moak says the shelter is operating illegally without a permit, exceeding its capacity of just 32 beds when it opened in 1976, causing more homeless people to congregate outside of the building. We have this new element of uh, what appears to be synthetic drug use is just making the problem worse. Seems to be attracting other people to the area. They need to go through a process called plat and petition where you need the consent of owners around you, a certain a majority of the owners around you, to be able to operate in the fashion which you choose. But shelter operator Larry Rice says his center is not the cause of this recent epidemic that's hitting the streets. Are they trying to destroy us as far as the neighbors are concerned so they'll never sign our plat and petition? because it's, they've created this problem and they attribute it to new life. They're not giving a cease and desist to the library where over half of these places were across from the library. They're giving it to us here. And this is a place where people come in and get off this stuff. ISIS is not Islam. Everything that ISIS does is against Muslims and against the teaching of Prophet Muhammad. That's exactly the message Dr. Hilal Ikramuddin of the Islamic Foundation of the Greater St. Louis area says he and the many Muslims in the region want to convey to the militant group. Terror group and terror is a criminal and what they're doing is a crime. It has nothing to do with if Islam or for that matter any religion. The Islamic organization is taking its ill feelings toward ISIS and plastering them on this digital billboard on Manchester Road in Baldwin. The billboard campaign flashes every few seconds with the heading ISIS you suck. Because it's not a very household word that I would like to or being in an Islamic organization would like to use and it hurts us to be associated with this heinous criminal. The billboard is courtesy of the foundation Sound Vision, and their vision is to build bridges of understanding between communities and local Muslims. We respect uh, religious freedom, and uh, any other group, if they would have approached us, we would have found a way to do the same thing. Dr. Hilal says the terror group does not represent the large population of Muslims who practice what they call a religion of peace. We denounce hate, we love peace, and we are everything that ISIS is doing is completely opposite. And the only thing is that 
They are covered widely in the media because of their heinous crime. It becomes sensational. And the other goal of the message is to make a positive impact on the non-Muslim community of St. Louis. You, if you create phob Islamophobia and all those things, that further distance our young generation towards and polarize them towards that direction. So we need to, that's why it is very important to counter this thing on both sides. And I, I wish and hope that our fellow American will understand and try to help us in this situation. It's interesting though, because you've heard it too, right? I mm -hmm. mean, people all complain that Muslims aren't stepping up and protesting terrorism. This is a pretty bold example of that. I mean, this right. is the first time I think I've ever seen, not, not to criticize, but what I'm saying is this is a pretty outward example of their disdain for the fact that, in their opinion, right. these folks are abusing the religion. Well, so, I, you know, that made me want to ask the question, is there any fear of retaliation? Yeah. So I was told, so what, basically, from the group. And they're saying that we have to do the right thing. And the foundation also tells me that about five Muslim scholars, some based in California and in Tennessee, have been told by ISIS that, quote, you are on our list. So... I mean, that's a threat. Wow. The day started with a rundown. I and two other guest Blue Angels briefed on how to eject the seat in case of an emergency. Eject, eject, eject. And where to find our sick bag in case a banana I had this morning doesn't stay in my stomach. That's the Hick Maneuver, a breathing exercise that helps prevent the flyer from passing out. Then we signed away our lives, yeah. zipped up yeah. into our cool flight suit and walked out to the tarmac in style. When it was my turn, I could tell my nerves were going to get the best of me. We're getting on the Blue Angels jet that is uh, slated to pull about seven and a half G's. So we'll see how I do. Hopefully I don't pass out or throw up, but we'll see. The jet took off so quick, I didn't even realize how fast we shot up into the skies. Not too bad, huh? Then came the turns <laughs> and the twist. <laughs> With the G-forces striking, I fought back because I refused to go down. Even with all the amazing moves Lieutenant Tyler Davies showed me, by far, I think my favorite was hanging upside down. All right, here we go home. Yeah. And remember when I said hopefully no throwing up? Well, 